All right, 2021. You need a phone with a stylus and you're looking to pick up one right now. And you're thinking, should I pick up? Nope, that's not available. But there is one device that's available right now at a price point that will intrigue you. I'm talking about the brand new Moto G Stylus 5G. And let's go ahead and check it out. So Motorola has come in with a brand new Moto G device. It is the Moto G Stylus 5G packaging right here. And it comes at a very unique price point of $399. You're going, okay, that's pretty impressive, but what does it actually have under the hood? Now, if you're watching this for the very first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification icon to check out more videos like that. And we said on this channel, we'll try and cover more low-end to mid-range devices. And the Moto G Silas 5G is one of those devices. All right, so what makes this device interesting and unique? Now, the Moto G Stylus 5G comes packed with a 6.8 inch Full HD Plus display. That's quite a massive display. And then you can expect that since you have a stylus built in, which means you've got enough room to navigate and do all that cool stylus function, right? There's a front facing camera, 16 megapixels, but you want to see the stylus. So it's actually lodged within the device and you hit the button and it pops right out. So this is the stylus right here. As we move in closer, you can see it. It is a slim stylus. It's got a rounded head. Uh, there are no buttons on the stylus, although the back button kind of clicks, which is quite interesting. Now, once you, power, once you pull out the stylus from its housing, it does have uh, uh, an app that, or an icon that pops up that gives you a couple of functionalities. So you can take notes, you can take screenshots, you have this really cool uh, coloring book where you can color and also add different other things to it. Uh, you can make GIFs and you can go ahead and also customize the shortcuts to add whichever applications you want for quick access, which is great. The stylus itself is really functional, allowing you to navigate across the screen, write quite effectively. And I have to say, I do like the feel of the stylus. A bit thin, but I do like the feel of the stylus altogether. So. We're going, okay, Thunder E, that's cool. Stylus looks nice. It's, you know, pretty solid. What is under the hood? Now, this is powered by the Snapdragon 485G. Yes, the 485G processor. And it comes paired with six gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage. You can expand that via micro SD. So that's actually fine. Cool. Now, in terms of battery life, we're looking at two days which means that you're getting 5,000 milliamps within this device. Now, my experience with past Moto G devices states that they are probably close to the claims of two days because Moto G devices tend to last quite a while. Now, this is running a close to stock Android experience with just a few Motorola applications built in. The camera system is a quad camera system with a 48 megapixel sensor, aperture f1.7. You also have an ultra wide camera, uh, macro lens, and you're going macro again. Yes, because I actually asked Motorola this question in my briefing, and they said you guys like using the macro lens. So they've actually done some improvements here, adding some AI features that let you know, hey, you can actually switch to the macro lens when you get close to an object. Now, the camera does have some cool functionality. Besides the macro uh, lens, it also has a depth sensor, which allows for some of that you know, color spot feature, meaning you can do color spot in both photo and video. Uh, this allows you to pick a specific color, highlight that color in your video, and keep everything in black and white. And it looks pretty good. I think shots from the camera look decent and solid from my experience, but we'll have to see more in a full review. Now, that Snapdragon 480 5G is a capable processor. It was able to play some Call of Duty uh, you know, mobile on here quite effectively, and the settings were pretty close to high. Now, this is not a benchmark test or a gaming test. I'm not doing any of that because this is strictly just my first impressions of this device. Uh, but I have to say though, I was impressed with what I have seen so far. So Motorola is known for bringing a lot of mid-range devices into the market. And I think the Moto G Stylus 5G will fit in quite well comes packed with a ton of features. It has a fingerprint sensor at the back, a quad camera system, which we've taken a quick look at, and a built-in stylus, something you find from very, very few devices. And I think that 6.8 inch display will give enough real estate for people to enjoy 
entertainment and content to the largest degree. Now, let me know what you think about the Moto G Stylus 5G. Uh, do you like the stylus? Is it something you're looking for in a device price like this? Do you think the performance would be good enough for what you want to do? Are you okay with the battery life? Whatever your thoughts are, leave them down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, watch Daniel's videos, and enjoy your entertainment, because that's in the video. Bam!